we all know that this has gone up. The exposure has gone up. So it now has raised the question now more than ever, do I need to worry about this blue light thing? Hey everyone, it's Dr. Kellyanne and welcome to this episode of Digging In with Dr. Kellyanne where this week, guess what I'm investigating? Blue blocker glasses. Do I dig them or do I want to ditch them? Stay tuned. People wonder all the time, what about this blue light? What, have we always had blue light? Is it a new thing? Well, we've always had blue light in the sense that the sun actually emits some blue light. And so every day our ancestors were out there in blue light. And then we started getting really clever. We started coming out with incandescent lights. We came out with candles to light the room and they didn't have blue light in them. Then we thought we got even smarter. And from there we developed LED lights, UV lights. And these lights are the lights that we find in most homes now. And they produce the problem or part of the problem because they emit blue light. So while our ancestors, they got a shock of blue light while they went outside during the natural time during the day, Unfortunately, now we're getting it not only when we're outside, we're getting it indoors too. And this is a little shocking to the system. It's a kind of an over bombardment, if you will, of this blue light. So what's so bad about blue light? And what is the science behind blue light? Well, the problem is that blue light can be good on one hand because it actually can energize us. But the problem is this energy that we get from blue light it needs to be shut off closer to the evening because here's what it does. It shuts down melatonin or it starts to diminish melatonin. This isn't good because melatonin is our sleepy hormone and we need this guy to help us fall into a restful sleep. So when you have too much of this blue light, the problem is it gives you insomnia and it also makes you toss and turn a lot. So here's how I want you to think about the spectrum of light. Red is on one spectrum. It's a very long spectrum with a very short burst of light or energy, we'll call it. Where blue light is on the other spectrum, a very small spectrum of light with a very high dosed, powerful uh, emission. So you can see they're very different and this is how light runs. So can you understand why if you are exposed all the time to the short yet powerful burst of light or energy that sometimes it can be a little daunting to the body. And there's been also some preliminary studies that are saying, you know what? This may cause some problems with the eyes. This may cause some problems with the eyes or eye strain, so to speak. And if you notice, if you're on your laptop, if you're on a lot of electronic devices and even your television, and so many of us are doing so much more of this that you start to feel like, you know, my eyes are feeling strained. And so the question becomes, could this blue light be part and parcel to that eye strain? And those are some of the conclusions that we're trying to draw with these blue block emissions and the blue block glasses that are one of the, the ways that we palliate or we, we think to solve some of these problems. You know, there was a time where only big companies would have computers, right? They would take the place of an entire room and it would be a very special moment when you got to spend some time on a computer and it might be in a library and so forth. But now we have increased all of our time in front of screens now more than ever. I hear all the time from even parents saying, now I'm concerned, you know, my kids are learning from Zoom. I'm on Zoom all day in my meetings. And another thing that people aren't really thinking about is instead of actually spending time with each other, we're texting now more than ever. So we've got texting going on. We've got school on computer screens. We've got school, school and work on screens in addition to what we already do. And now go ahead and tell me if you have not done some, a lot of binge watching, <laughs> a lot of binge watching on Netflix during the past couple of months. So we all know that this has gone up. The exposure has gone up. So it now has raised the question now more than ever, do I need to worry about this blue light thing? So we are concerned, of course, about the average adult spending 11 hours on average, by the way, 11 hours on average in front of screens. Not good. However, I will say this, 
there are some benefits to blue light and here's what they are. You want to feel happy. All of us want to feel happy. All of us are craving to feel happy. And one of the ways that you can get there is actually spending some time outside in that blue light. Because when you're outside, you, again, you are being exposed to blue light. And we can either make that blue light experience either healthy or unhealthy depending on the amount in which we receive. And that's the key. The key is how much blue light am I getting? Because if I have a small exposure, then it actually can make you feel happy. And it actually can be the remedy against that seasonal affective disorder, that SAD. Here's what we do know about blue light. Some people think, is this a myth? Does it really work? Here's the, the hardcore answer, which is hard for people to really sort through in their mind. And it happens like this a lot because what's happening is a phenomenon, right? We've never been exposed like we are now to blue light. So it causes new patterns of thought and it causes new research. The research is not 100% there. There are some who, whom I respect who believe in them and they swear by them and they put them into their daily life and they, they have everyone else that they know do the same. And then there's others with whom I respect that think it's, it's a hogwash. The science isn't there yet. This is not a proofed out theorem. So really, we are still in the investigation stage. That's where we are with blue light and uh, blue light blockers. So when you're trying to decide what pair of blue blockers to get, a lot of people decide just on fashion. <laughs> There's some people that decide because, you know, I'm not sleeping or I've got some eye strain or I just really want to make this a part of my everyday wellness type of pattern. So it depends. People buy them for all different reasons. So I love how these Swanee day glasses look, these blue blockers, and I'm looking at a computer screen and they seem to block out a lot of the blue light. And now I'm going to go with the Amazon. Again, day pair. This runs about 18 bucks, and I have to say, they're blocking out a good, seems like they're blocking out a good dose of that blue light. So I would say, if you're into the fashion, and you know, fashion's important to you, then the Swannies, and, and you're not as price sensitive, and I'd say the Swannies, they seem to do the trick. If you're more price sensitive, and you're not into the high fashion, it doesn't matter, you just want something that works, then this $18 Amazon might be the way to go for you. You know, I really can't tell the difference, you know, a whole lot, I really can't. So it's a matter of what your tastes are and what your budget is. Now let's try these $3 pair of day glasses. These are from Target, three bucks. Let's see. I actually do, I can tell a difference. There seems to be a lot more blue blocked with these glasses, the Amazon glasses. And I'm sure it's going to be, yeah, I can definitely tell a difference. The Amazon, the $3 pair, they seem to be blocking some blue light, but I can definitely tell that the $100 pair and the $18 pair, they seem to be blocking more. It may be unrealistic to think that someone's going to wear them 24-7, but if you get a style you like and you have your own lenses in there, you'll be more inclined to wear them. So when I first started wearing blue blocker glasses, I thought, gosh, I can't wear these. I can't see when I'm wearing them. But once you put your lenses in them, you start to see more. And I have to tell you, my own personal experience, I do notice a difference definitely in eye strain. This is the segment that I like to call, You Ask and I Answer. Blue light glasses take that blue light that normally hits your eyes and it actually creates some kind of shield and it blocks some of the blue light from getting into your eyes. You can't turn off all blue light. Nothing blocks all blue light, not even blue blocking glasses. You can even actually minimize the blue light on your computer with settings. There are settings on your computer that blocks a little bit of that blue light, which prevents you from getting a whole, whole big hit of it all the time. We spend so much time on our phones that that's the one primary place that I would say that you should go into your settings and a lot of the phones have the blocking uh, mechanism on there and block some of that blue light, especially if you're streaming on your phones and uh, we all are, so <laughs> it's a good strategy. The reason why I even became attracted to blue light or the concept of blue light glasses to begin with is because if you follow my work, then you know, like to me, sleep is, it trumps about everything. It's sleep and it's hydration, and then you get into food and things. But 
Sleep makes everything else work. And the problem with blue light is that we're all getting so much of it, and this blue light can affect sleep because there's a hormone called melatonin, and it's important. This is the sleepy hormone, and it diminishes that hormone. And so that's what blue light does. So especially before you're ready to go to bed, this is when you wanna really charge down. So a few hours before bed, start thinking about really charging everything down for bed because you don't wanna think about bedtime just at bed. You wanna make sure the room is cool enough. You wanna make sure that you've minimized that blue light and things like that. We have some evidence that shows us that wearing blue block glasses before going to bed actually helps us get better rest so we perform better at work the next day. Blue light blockers, do I dig them or do I wanna ditch them? Here's my take. I say, I dig them. I actually dig them and here's why. Because anything that you can do to help sleep that's not gonna be harmful. It's not a medication that could have after effects. It's not something that has to be expensive. It's not something that's time consuming. And we know that there is starting to be more and more information available that there could be some links to some of the things that we experience that are adverse to our health. So I'd say just throw those glasses on a couple hours before bed. If you have to get your prescription in them, get your prescri prescription in them. And it may, may make a difference in your life. And that's the whole story on Blue Blocker Glasses. I dig them. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Digging In with Dr. Kellyanne.